Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about C1 esterase inhibitor or C1 inhibitor. C1 inhibitor is a plasma protease inhibitor that regulates the activation of the classical electin pathways. C1 inhibitor inhibits the classical pathway by binding to and inactivating C1R and C1S proteases in the C1 complex and also inhibit the lectin pathway by binding and inactivating mass P1 and 2 proteases in the MBL complex. In addition, C1 inhibitor inhibit the formation of bradykinin, a potent vasoactive peptide that causes edema. As has been shown in previous videos, when C1Q binds to IgGs found on cell surfaces, the C1S will be able to cleave C4, leading to the deposition of C4B on the cell surface. In addition, C1S will cleave C2, generating C2A and C2B. When C2A binds to C4B bound to a cell surface, it will generate the C3 convertase, C4B, C2A. C1 inhibitor inhibits C1, therefore, the activation of the classical pathway is inhibited. Basically, C1 inhibitor will recognize C1R and C1S, and it will remove them from the C1 complex. This C1Q by itself cannot longer activate the classical pathway. C1 inhibitor also is able to remove MASP protein from the MBL complex, which is not shown in this video. In addition, C1 inhibitor inhibits the formation of bradykinin, which is a potent vasoactive peptide. The activation of factor 12, factor that participates in the coagulation cascade, leads to the activation of calicrain, which cleaves kinonogen to produce the vasoactive peptide called bradykinin. Bradykinin participates in the formation of edema. C1 inhibitor inhibits the formation of bradykinin at two different levels, as you can see here in this diagram. In summary, C1 inhibitor not only inhibit the classical and the lectin pathways, but also inhibit the formation of bradykinin, which is a potent vasoactive peptide. Thank you.